Okay, time for part two of a box of random randoms. Um, we left off last episode with this sanitation department truck, which I decided I'm putting in the for sale pile. If you haven't checked out part one, go ahead and check that out. We're going to go through the rest of this box, this big box. This is a full-size Hot Wheels box. Ooh, look at this. How did this get in here? It is a paper crane. Should we get distracted by that for a moment? Oh, shoot. I think I just ripped it. I don't think I folded this one. This probably came with a Kyosho that I got from Japan. Uh, but anyway, there's a paper crane. Yeah, well, isn't that sweet? All right, that's good luck. Maybe we'll find something cool. In else, something else cool inside this box. But anyway, this player, it's going to the for sale thing. Someone might want it. I discussed it in the last episode. And look at this guy. We got another flash side, step side, whatever, truck. This looks like it's supposed to be a square body Chevy, and it does actually have the bow tie cast in the flash. This thing's pretty sweet. It's got a bed cover. Made in China. It's got like a little suspension. It rolls. This one is a keeper. I'm putting it in my very, very small keeper pile as we've gone through this box, which is good because that means I'm, I'm growing up here, getting rid of some of my toys. All right. What is this? Made in China. I don't know. Is this supposed to be... Gosh, what is this supposed to be? It's like part Firebird, part... Two... I don't know. What is that guy doing on there? 56. Guy made in China. Whatever. Um, this is probably supposed to represent a mash mix of cars. And, uh, yeah. Not going to keep it. Don't think anybody's going to want it. So I'm putting that in the potential garbage pile. I will not throw anything actually in the garbage until both of these videos come out, just in case I uh, do a dumb move and throw away something that is rare or whatever, which I doubt that's going to happen, but you just never know. And then here is, which you guys will call out in the comments, obviously, uh, Made in China. What the heck does that say? Oh, number 801. I don't know if this is like a Yatming or something. It's got those orange slice wheels, which look like Yatming wheels. Um, you know, again, I'm just not going to keep it. So should this go in the junk pile? Should it go in the for sale pile? I don't know. I'm leaning towards junk. I'm leaning towards nobody's going to want that one. This next one looks like it's a Maisto. Ford Granada 2.8 GL. I think I'm going to keep this one actually. It appears to be in good shape. It's weird too, so I like weird. I like weird stuff, especially if it's like mint. We're going to keep that one. Okay, this one I'm not going to keep. This is a Chevy Camaro. This was a, let's just say, Hardy's on the back. It was white. In the first episode, we pulled one that was not painted. Uh, this one is also missing an A-pillar on one side. The other one's cracked, and this thing is garbage. So that's getting tossed. That one, I think, for sure, I could probably throw in the garbage right now. Uh, this next one's an old Matchbox. It is the Silver Streak, made in England, copyright date 1971. It is worthless to me. It's an old matchbox, though. I have a hard time tossing it. Even though I know nobody's ever going to probably want to restore this particular casting. Um, I'm going to put it in my little for sale box here, just in case. Even though I know it's probably pointless to do so, but we're going to do it anyway. All right. This next one is a crack em up Hot Wheels, Mattel, Hong Kong. Still works. It still 
works. It'd be kind of fun to drill one of these apart and actually find out what makes this thing tick. But that's not for me. I'm not going to do it. I'll put it in the for, little for sale pile. When I say for sale, it's just giving these cars a second chance at, an, at a new home instead of just throwing them right in the garbage because I'm never going to I'm never going to do anything with them. Um, here's another one that will probably hit that pile for sale pile. This is a Corvette funny car from Hot Wheels. It's got a Malaysia base. For some reason it won't close. It's got a dented in pillar there. It's nothing I want. So <clears throat> I guess that's for sale. I doubt anybody's gonna want it. Ooh, here's a red line. So this is this would be interesting. So this is completely trashed, I'm sure, of it. Uh, it's missing the hood. Surprisingly, I mean, the paint's all that not in better shape. The base is super oxidized. It's a custom Eldorado. Uh, the axles, of course, are completely bent. Uh, but they are original axles with the caps. And they're the ones that like kind of wrap around inside there. Um, someone might want this car for some bits of it I would say um, you're not going to want it for the body unless you think you can bend that back into shape because it has been crushed you know the base is completely oxidized the only thing I could think of that maybe somebody would want it for is the axles with the little white um, what do they call them whatever they are wheel hubs so I don't know I don't know if anybody really would ever care to have any piece of this car, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in the for sale pile. We're definitely not going to throw away a red line. Just in case somebody wants to do something with it. <clears throat> i got a lot of dirt piling up right here. I don't know what this is. Some piece of a random Hot Wheel. That can go right in the garbage. Here is a Maisto. Mackenzie Rose Ice Cream Company. I think it's Maisto. Yep, Maisto Tonka Hasbro. Maisto Tonka Hasbro ambulance casting or ice cream van casting um i don't know maybe somebody will want that i don't want it there's no reason for it to stay with me and I'm keep the truck in here this next one this is tempting to keep um only because it's Milwaukee burgers yeah, of course. No, it's a Corgi, too. Ford Mustang Cobra. Corgi. Milwaukee Brewers. I might keep this. I live pretty, uh, relatively close to Milwaukee. And, uh, yeah. Of course I'm a Brewers fan. Somewhat. I haven't really followed the Brewers in a long, long time. I used to be really deep into them. Not quite deep, but I used to watch every game, pretty much. So that, we're going to go ahead and... We're going to keep it. Can't bring myself to get rid of it. This is a Terrell. Terrell. Well, it's a Lickety 6 from Hot Wheels. I think that's supposed to be like the, whatever, the only six-wheel Indy car, Formula 1 car that I've ever known of. Um, it's in rough shape, though. It's not for me. I'm not going to keep it. It's going to go in the pile of... Maybe somebody will maybe somebody will want that. I don't know. <clears throat> We're gonna try to move a little bit faster through this now because I realize this is we don't want a part three. Um, here is a Hot Wheel again. Hot Wheels P nine seventeen, made in Hong Kong. But seriously, what are you gonna do with that? Nothing. That's actually going to the junk pile. I don't think anybody's gonna want that for anything. Here's another classic old Matchbox, Red Rider. Rough shape. I'll give it one more chance at life. Throw it in the for sale pile. Doubt anybody's going to want it. This one is some weird made in China Firebird thingy. Yeah, no one's going to want that. <clears throat> Are they? Like I said, if I'm wrong, I'm going to throw these in a box. If I'm wrong about anything, you guys let me know. 
and I will act accordingly to save whatever I toss. All right. Yeah, let's see, this is one of the. I don't know what this is. It's got some weird things stamped in the bottom. Some weird old tiny, tiny car, and I don't care about it. I'm going to put it in the for sale pile just in case somebody cares about it. I doubt they will, but you never know. Wine Tropic. This one, Cannonball Run. <clears throat> this is an Ertl, <clears throat> which doesn't seem to be in too bad a shape except for the huge dent in the roof. 1980 Chevy. And like Monte Carlo or something, or whatever it is. I'm not sure. Caprice. Well, whatever it is, uh, the A pillar is actually cracked on this. See that? I'm actually just going to toss this. I know the paint's in decent shape and stuff, but seriously, who the hell wants that in their collection? I don't know. Maybe you do. I don't. And no offense if you do. I just it's not not worth keeping to me. This I might keep. To Morgan. Morgan plus eight. Someone will have to tell me if any other brand did this car. Um, it's a Zymlex. Z Toys. Staying in the collection. Definitely keeping that one. It's in good shape, too. I don't know how old it is. It may not be very old at all. I, don't, I have no idea. But it's a Z Toys. It doesn't have a metal base, it's got plastic. Everything appears to be there and in decent condition. I don't know if there's supposed to be something on the back here, but it sort of appears to be complete, and I will keep it. It's one of the few cars that we're keeping out of all this stuff. What is this thing? Racing Champions 1968 Plymouth. And it is in terrible shape. I think it's probably missing a motor. I'm guessing it had like a blown motor up there. Maybe. I think they stuck one on the hood. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe not. But it's going in the garbage. It's gone. It's getting out of my life. All right. Next is a what appears to be a London bus, double decker bus, Tonka Tours, Tonka Maisto, Tonka Maisto, Maisto Tonka. A looks like it's almost the same tooling as an old Matchbox. I think they might have used some old Matchbox toolings. They might have bought some. I don't know. Or licensed, or whatever. Leased them, maybe? Is that the correct term? I'm not sure. It looks sort of like that. I'm not sure if it is. But uh, I'm not going to keep it. But we will give it a second chance at life. <clears throat> Cannon Force. What is this? The front end. Does that look like Skyline Teals? Like an R33? R32? Look at the back right here. Doesn't that kind of... I'm probably way wrong. But I don't know, man. It's a rough cutout of maybe what was supposed to be one. Hmm. That is interesting. It's going in the junk pile because it's in completely rough shape and it seems to be way off brandish. There's no interior in it. Um, something, the roof is a little twisted. I think that's supposed to be, gosh, that's got some skyline traits, doesn't it? That front end. Um, some staples. Glad I finally found those. No, I don't know how those got in there. Who knows? Uh, this is a Made in China Turbo Firebird. It's in rough shape. It's some weird lame brand. And it's not going to roll. It's all broken. It's messed up. It's going to the junk pile. <clears throat> Old Matchbox. Not something anybody's ever going to want to restore. It's in rough shape. Yes, it still maybe has some play value, but it's going in the junk. <clears throat> We're making decisions a little quicker now. This is a, whatever, Larry's towing thing. Larry's 24-hour towing. What's the name of the casting, though? I don't remember. Um, it's in rough shape. This is broken. Things are broken on it busted. I will give it a second chance at life just because it's Hot Wheels and maybe, I don't know, maybe somebody will find a 50 cent value in it. Um, this thing 
Boss Mustang, Old Lesney, completely wrecked. I mean, really, let's go into the junk pile and just say goodbye to it. Just say goodbye. Hey, this one I think I'm going to keep. This is a Shelby. I, I think I'm going to keep this. The wheels actually look pretty decent. They're plastic. Mm, that's kind of cool. Batch number. It's got a batch number. Mm, I'm going to keep that little guy. I'm going to keep it. Right, let's keep trucking. Old car. Oh, white heat. I had this car as a kid. This actually might even be it. Yeah. It's going in the junk. It just is. What are you going to do with it? What would you do with this? I mean, you can make some crazy custom with it, maybe. So maybe I'll stick it in there just in case some customizer wants to do it. And if they do, you know, you're just going to get it for free because I don't want it. Uh, this thing is junk. It's a Firebird. No identifying markings. It's junk. <clears throat> Here is one that's kind of interesting. This is a... Sizzler. Looks like someone tried to replace the battery in it already, which is probably why that's that's popped right there. Looks like it was glued back together. It's got a switch. Um, rubber banded tires. It's old school. It's got to be an original one. Um, I am not going to keep it. But maybe somebody will want to do something with that. I don't know. Might be worth a buck to somebody. Here is a old T Bird. It's a Malaysia base. Yeah. I don't know. Would somebody want that? I have no idea. Uh, this one's interesting, but it's beat up. I remember having this car, seeing this car. Yeah, smashed up there. It's a play art. Another play art piece. It's a Mercury police car. Wagon. Uh, I guess it's fairly interesting, but it, I'm not going to keep it. I guess I'll give it a second chance. We'll throw it in there. Somebody wants it. This thing I'm going to keep probably. This has got to be a Maisto. Yep, Maisto Corvette Stingray. Used under license. The wheels are horrible. But it's in great shape. And I will keep it. Majorette. Look how little big wheels. Look at those guys. Pontiac Fiero. Not keeping it. It's just in too rough a shape. If it was in mint condition, or even close, I would probably probably hang on to it. But it isn't, and I'm not. Police car. Hong Kong base. Uh, so it's old. I am not going to keep it, though. Because yeah, it's way too rough. And I don't think anybody would ever want it, but uh, I will give it a second chance. Once we can finally start having meets again, which actually shouldn't be too long for now, to be honest, here in my state. Um, this is kind of cool. What is this? Anti-crime. Well, you better be anti-crime if you're police, hopefully. Police special force. Uh, is it a, is it supposed to be a J wagon? It's like got partial Mercedes logo up front, but it's not really a Mercedes logo. They changed it a little bit because I don't think this is licensed at all. Well, I don't know. I'm keeping it though. I'm keeping this thing. All right. <clears throat> we got another old Hot Wheels. I think, well, no matter how long this goes, we're going to go ahead and just wrap it up. We're going to get through this whole box, the whole rest of it. Old Hot Wheels. The teetotaler. Gold base. 
if it was in good shape, of course it would keep it, but it's just so rough. And it just, I don't have any room in my collection, really, to keep almost anything, <laughs> let alone that. All right, so this is a, a custom XK. This is an old Topper Toys Johnny Lightning. In purple. I'm actually going to keep this one. Just because I don't think I have really any examples of the original, like, old Topper Toys Johnny Lightnings. So I think this is OEM. Like, this is, like, totally original around when Hot Wheels was out back in the Redline days, Johnny Lightning. I think the wheels might have been retouched a little bit and stuff. But I think I'm going to keep it for now. Even though it's kind of in rough shape, it's actually not too terrible. But just so I have some sort of example, I think I'm going to keep that car. Hey, this next one is a 959, so you know I'm keeping that, right? If it's in any close to good shape. And it is. It is a Maisto 959 with some ugly, ugly, ugly outboard motor prop wheels. Porsche on the back, Porsche logo on the front, it's a sticker I think, it feels like a sticker. Hey, look at that, lens detail in the back. Yes, yeah, so this one's a keeper. Made in China. We're definitely going to keep it. We will keep it. Uh, looks like we don't have, we don't have too much left, so the target was 25 minutes per episode. Well, we might be getting, we could be fairly close. If I keep going here. This is a Melly Yellow car. I remember getting these at Hardee's. Made by Applause. All rights reserved. Made in China. If I were to find these cars in good shape. These are from Days of Thunder. I would totally uh, keep them. But in rough shape like this, I'm not going to keep it. Oh, in case anybody else wants it, I'm going to set it aside. But not staying in my collection. And neither is this. Still, same category. I bet you someone could do some cool stuff. It, it's kind of cool when people take old castings and make like new style customs with them. I think that's kind of a neat thing. What is this? Okay, so this is an Ertl. It says it's a Speed Strips. And I'm not sure exactly how this is supposed to work. But. Let me check something out once. I don't know if you can see that. You see that image right there? I'm trying to project it. No, I don't think that's going to work. I don't know how this was supposed to work, but um, there clearly is some sort of like slide projector kind of like thing in here. See that? And as you roll it, it's probably supposed to do something. Um, that is interesting enough, I think, to... I mean, we're not, I'm not going to keep it, but I will throw it in the... Uh, maybe somebody will know what that is. And at least be a conversation uh, piece at a meet sometime. Uh, here's a crazy-looking Sheriff Dune Buggy made in Hong Kong. Very strange, very odd. Little motor tooling in the back there that moves around, unfortunately. Um, that's metal, actually. Looks like it's missing the uh, the lights that it would have on the top. And looks like the windshield's kind of falling down in there. But uh, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know what it is. It's old. It's from Hong Kong. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put that in the possible for sale just in case somebody identifies that as something that is interesting enough to take home with them. This is... What's the name of this Dane Casting? Is it saying about him? No. It's a red line, though. From the enamel red line years. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to keep it, but I will set it in the first sale thing, just in case. Same with this one. This is a Tootsie Toy, Tootsie Toy USA. I'll tell you what it is. No, it doesn't. Little Tootsie Toy. 
I don't know. Someone might want it. Let's not just toss it. Let's set it somewhere. I have a couple other Tootsie Toys. I'll set it by those. Okay. Tell me this is garbage. Oof. I don't know what that is. Right there. But thankfully it's dead. What is that? Ugh. Let's get that out of here. Now it's just crumbling to bits. It's in the bottom of the box. I guess we're lucky we don't get a spider coming out here. This was just sitting in the basement in like my workshop, so you never know what we're gonna get out of there. I'll put this top back on. Had enough space in the wheel well there for this thing. You could fit a wagon wheel in there. Uh, made in Hong Kong though. It's old. Um, I don't want it. But uh, again. Who knows? It might be worth 50 cents to someone. We'll just keep it. I, I hate throwing stuff away. Like this right here. It's old matchbox. It's half of a half of a car. It's like, what do you do with something like this? Again, like the possibilities are endless. I keep thinking of, oh, a, a customizer could do something with that. Something cool. You could almost like, I don't know. Like, Bozo Is that how you pronounce it? This thing out. I'm like, do something really neat with it. Yeah, I should stop coming up with stuff because it's going to make me want to, like, hang on to it. I shouldn't. And I'm not going to. We're putting it in the for sale thing. There's a lot of people local to me that customize cars that show up to these meets, and you just never know what they might like to. So I'd like to do something weird with it. If you're creative enough, you could really do something weird with any casting. And I could just rat this thing out and do something somewhat cool with it if I really really wanted to but you know I just don't have time to do any of that so we're skipping all that and this is probably just going to go in the junk this uh, Dodge Daytona Turbo Z because it is beyond the point of no return I mean some little kid might like rolling it around in the dirt and that's about all you're going to get get out of it here's another Z Toys this is a Dodge Camper again this might be cool uh, for somebody, I don't know. It's a Z Toys. It's weird. It's heavy. It's all metal. It's missing a hood, uh, which is unfortunate. I don't know if there's anything else missing from it, but it is definitely missing the hood. Should probably be thrown in the junk, but I am going to put it somewhere where someone else will get a chance to see it, and uh, we'll decide for themselves whether or not they want. It. Here's another one of those little step side trucks. And I think I'm just going to keep it to keep my little set complete. So I found, uh, what, three of them in here so far? These are all in better shape. Uh, this one's the same tooling as this one. They both have the bow tie. This one does not. I don't know if this is supposed to be a Ford or not. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I'm keeping these trucks, including this one. Bumpers intact and stuff. Oh, here's another one. This one's a much rougher, much rougher shape. Apache. And this is the other tooling. And I am not keeping it. I'm going to set it in the thing for possible sale. I'm not going to throw it right in the garbage. But I'm not going to keep it. Same with this one. County Police USA. It's a player. Hey, it used to be Mike's. Made in Hong Kong. I mean, it's actually not in terrible shape. I mean, the paint's bad, right? But, like, when you always are looking for, like, projects to restore or something, you're looking at the parts that are not going to be easy to replace and not be easy to look good. The metal, you could always strip the paint off and repaint, right? It's the other pieces of the car. Like, mainly the windshield. That's the toughest one. But it doesn't have any deep scratches it doesn't appear to anyway so you know somebody could do something with that maybe All right, let's try to get through these we just got a couple left around 30 minutes going in the junk it's garbage i don't care that's garbage I'm missing the top piece uh this one i guess we'll keep i mean i'm not going to keep it but i'm not going to throw it in the garbage grease gremlin it's an old school one. Blackwall. I don't know if that come bent like that. Probably not. So 
whatever. We'll throw it in the for sale thing. Junk. Keep co. Would love to get one of these in mint condition. Be kind of cool. It's odd though. It's in rough shape. I have no need or want for it. Maybe someone else will. If they're crazy. Uh, what is this? Looks like it was a McDonald's toy. And it is going in the garbage. <clears throat> I don't even know what kind of car I'm supposed to be. Alright, looks like we only got two left. Saving that police car for last looks like kind of something kind of decent. Hey, it's a Roger Dodger. So here we go. Old Hot Wheel. Not in great shape. Probably looks better on camera than it does in real life. But uh, not keeping it, but we'll put it in the for sale pile. And then this last one is a Kidco. Metal base, plastic body. These are used to shoot off of a key. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep this one. The actual front rubber bumper, they always put rubber up here because you're smashing these things into stuff. And they thought ahead to that point. It's old, but it's actually in pretty decent shape, uh, believe it or not. So it might not look that way that much to you, but it actually is in pretty good shape. So I'm going to keep it. All right, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed me going through this box of cars. Um, highlights, I mean, some keepers up here. I kept that thing. I kept that Porsche. Kept that car. The truck. That kid coat that we just saw. The topper. It's that stupid, you can't see it. There. Um, you know, and a few others. I don't think we really need to go through all these, but uh, there are a couple I kept. I thought were cool and most of them we thought we were going to get rid of so and that's what we're going to do all right so think we don't want to go any longer thank you guys very much for watching this video or if you watched the last one thank you for watching that one too please like comment subscribe all that good stuff and have yourself a good day